Paraphrasing the meaning of oral health as defined by the World Health Organization, good oral health is a state of being free from mouth and facial pain such as oral infections, tooth decay and other diseases that limit an individual's capacity in chewing, smiling and speaking. But some factors can come between an individual and the attainment of good oral health. Not brushing the teeth properly and effectively can negatively impact on the oral health because this would result in build-up of plaque deposits, which are tooth deposits that contain a lot of bacteria. Sugar, particularly when it's refined sugars or carbohydrates like uh, um, drinks, soft drinks, cakes, biscuits, they contain refined carbohydrates. And this has been shown to be associated um, with tooth decay. If you take too much of it, also inability or failure to use interdental cleaning aids to clean in between the teeth on a daily basis. Failure to visit the dentist. If you don't visit the dentist regularly. Other factors could even be lifestyle. Smoking, um, eating unbalanced diet or meals, this can also negatively impact on the oral health. We discourage people from using toothpaste and tell them to use dental floss because dental floss is actually much elder. There's a something we call ligament that connects the tooth to the gum. Now, once you, you're poking, you're like tearing off that ligament, so creating more space. Once the space is big enough, you can actually have what we call plaque food debris lodging into that place. The most common effects of these habits be manifest in different oral diseases, such as gingivitis, which is an inflammation of the gums, and if left untreated, it progresses to periodontal disease. Other complications are caries or tooth decay, which is as a result of prolonged loss of mineral owing to acids produced by bacteria in the mouth, and sensitive teeth which is a fallout of inappropriate brushing technique. Some people just think this is the right way to go that it's faster and it gets the job done quickly. So as much as possible, if they keep doing this over the years, they are damaging their gums and their teeth. Very simple techniques that everyone can practice. The individual makes a sweeping um, motion, as it were. You brush away from the gum onto the teeth, onto the teeth surfaces. And you give some strokes, up to three, four strokes, and then you brush, of course, the grinding surfaces. The same thing, just make sure your brush, you are brushing away from the gum. And then, of course, you must remember to brush your tongue. Yes. Symptoms that follow poor oral hygiene range from gum bleeding when brushing, to pain, bad breath, and loss of teeth, among others. Good oral health, number one, brush your teeth twice daily, effectively, with the right technique, such as the roll technique, for about three minutes. And then you ensure that you change your toothbrush regularly, three to four months. Use a medium texture toothbrush and a fluoride containing toothpaste. And then you make sure you also use interdental cleaning aids. You must clean plaque from in between your teeth because if the individual does not do that that's where we have the gum disease starting and then importantly you can you should visit your dentist every six months but at least once in a year healthy mouth and teeth are important to everyone whether children or adults as it is one of the windows to your overall health you're me or Tiger reporting for Channels Television News.